Major changes coming for Portland Police's Property Crimes Unit. The Bureau confirming that team tasked with investigating crimes like burglaries, stolen cars, and identity theft now getting reassigned. This is Coin 6 News at 6. I'm Todd Unger tonight in for Jeff. I'm Elizabeth Dim. Now let's get to our Joelle Jones live tonight close to the Portland Police Department. And Joelle, I know you're digging deeper into these changes, looking at the potential impacts here. Yeah, that's right, Liz. The district attorney's office tells me this call made by the police chief comes down to understaffing, but police maintain they will be investigating property crimes. And we saw a mixed reaction from shoppers today. Some say that this shift makes sense as they feel safer in stores and see fuller shelves. Others warning it could embolden thieves. It doesn't discourage crime, put it that way. Reaction from shoppers at Jansen Beach, the backdrop for the latest retail theft mission by Portland Police as the Bureau shifts the property crime team of three detectives to the special victims and sex crimes units, moving a sergeant to patrol. And I'm worried about going back to, you know, what we saw during the pandemic. People are just grabbing garbage full, bags full of stuff and running out of stores. This comes as city data shows Portland saw a drop in reported robberies and aggravated assaults in the first half of this year when compared to last. But the number of rape cases remain roughly the same. The Bureau also reporting persons crimes like those linked to domestic violence only dropped about 1%. These crimes are historically and always have been underreported, right? So if we're not even seeing a drop in the amount of crimes that are that are being reported, I think that echoes even a bigger problem. Margot Martin is the interim CEO of Bradley Angle, the oldest domestic violence shelter on the West Coast. While she says survivors often choose not to engage with law enforcement, she tells us demand for services hasn't dropped since a spike seen during the pandemic. So many survivors, we estimate about 90% of them are also victims of financial abuse. And what that means is that they have to make the decision to be safe or to be houseless. The district attorney's office tells COIN the closure of the unit comes as the community still feels the impact of property crimes. But police maintain each precinct will have an acting detective following through on cases. They say Chief Bob Day made the call to reallocate resources last month in an attempt to fill gaps created by retirements and promotions. Writing to members, change is always difficult, but it is imperative that we make these important decisions when it comes to using our resources to address the most egregious crimes. And you can read Chief Day's full statement as well as the one from the district attorney's office on this at coin.com. There we have also linked out local resources for domestic violence and sex abuse. Reporting live in Portland, I'm Joelle Jones, Coin 6 News. Joelle, thank you.